So with the stock market having an incredible, incredible rally over the last week or so, so many traders are one shocked. You may be shocked yourself, like why is the stock market rallying? And when you heard all this bearish news and all this sort of stuff in the market at the time when the market was going down, people freaking out, why is it rallying? I wanna share some things with you that I really, really, really wanna help you when it comes to your trading, not only now, but for the rest of your life of how these markets actually work. So you can remove 90% of the bullshit out there that you're probably going down, probably led you down the wrong path here and how I was screaming to the mountaintops that this rally was coming. Don't place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty traders, so one thing I wanna talk about here is firstly is that um, I want, really wanna walk you through like the 80-20 the, the rule, right? The 80-20 rule. One thing I've learned over the last 20 years of trading these markets, and I've been trading the markets now for 20 years, I've gone through so many cycles of this, right? I've gone through so many cycles of what these markets do. And because I've gone through so many cycles of bull markets, bear markets, I've gone through the crashes and so on and so forth, you start to get a good sense of what should I be focusing on to keep my emotions in control and to see what's really going on so therefore we can get ready for what's coming next. And unfortunately, with this market that was dropping down, so many people were focusing on the wrong thing. And what I was doing is this is my YouTube channel here, okay? If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe. <laughs> All right, like button, all that sort of stuff. Anyway, so I was doing videos here, okay? I was I was, I was, was doing videos here even back 10 days ago, right? Um, and this one here, flash crash. This one here, 10 days ago, flash, future crashing. This happens every year. Stay calm, massive, strong bounce coming. This is when the futures were falling. You can see this is when the futures were falling off a cliff. Strong bounce is coming. This one here, liquidation, and what and and what and what was the and let me put this here, right? And what did I say on the actual title here? What did I say at the end of the title? Panic over buys coming. Then I did a then I did a video here titled "The Weekly Chart is the most important time frame to remove your emotions and make good trading choices." Right, then we saw that stock market rebound, okay? And then obviously gold and silver here, and then I talked about here, gold and silver, the start of the next move, and I talked about the stock market. Here we go, this one here was one day, the next big rally. So I've been doing whatever I can, guys, to show you what is the most important thing for you to be focusing on when it comes to trading these markets. Unfortunately, most people have been focusing on all the wrong stuff, okay? And if you have been thinking the market's gonna go down, right, then you've, you, and, and you're so surprised about this market going up, I really wanna share something with you, okay? This chart, this thing here, the weekly chart is the most important time frame. I did this eight days ago because of why. I really want you to understand how markets actually work. And unfortunately, when you let all your emotions get involved with something, and then you start to wrap that around with all this other stuff on the outside, you are not gonna make good trading decisions, right? I was telling all my private clients, cause they're with me every day. And by the way, if you're interested in joining that small group that I have every day, then there should be a link in the description there. You can fill out the application form and I'll personally call you. If you've, if you've completely missed this rally right now, guys, and you complete and, and, and like with me, I, th I think I'm only one of the few people out there that have been saying we're getting ready for a big bounce, right? And look at the market, the market is big, having a big bounce. How did I call this? Really, 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 really simple. And what so many people were doing is they're going down this fundamental road, right? Which means jack crap to what's happening right now on the short term time frame. And the, one of the biggest mistakes that most traders make in these markets is they think, they think Japan, bombing, wars, CPI, PPI, let's go, right? <laughs> 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 
But my brother Clint, you know, you know the reason why I'm laughing. Anyway, um, I won't get into that story. But anyway, PPI, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, you guys are probably wondering, like, what the hell is he laughing at right now? There's this guy on YouTube that I saw. I watched one of his shorts, and he was trading the PPI, and he wanted the market to go up, and he was like, PPI, let's go! And then the, and the PPI came out, and he made a few thousand dollars, and he was happy. And, and anyway, that's that's the back, that's that's the backstory of that. Like, PPI, let's go. All right, CPI, let's go. Uh, anyway, so big strong bounce. So how could we have seen this bounce coming? Now, I didn't know how strong the bounce was going to come. But if we have a look at this weekly chart, let's utilize two, two, two simple rules. And this is all you needed. And then you can go play some golf. You didn't need to spend four or five hours going down a massive rabbit hole. And the end of your story is the market went up. Because your rabbit hole that you went down, PPI, let's go. CPI, let's go, right? Inflation, jobs number. Da, 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 da. All this sort of stuff, right? And it's the Japan, it's the carry trade, it's all this sort of stuff. And you went down a rabbit hole of learning all this information, going down this massive rabbit hole, hours and hours and hours of videos and content and all this sort of stuff. And guess where it ended you? It ended you actually thinking the wrong way, seeing the market the wrong way, and expecting the wrong thing. And the end of the story is if you did trade off that, you're losing money. So the purpose of me doing this video today for you is I really want to share with you that your most traders are going about this the wrong way. And then guess what they say? Oh, the market's manipulated. No, 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 no. Let's call a spade a spade. If you were short this market right now because of all of the fear and everything that was happening out there, you're just a shit trader. Unfortunately, I was doing my job. If you just listen to my videos, you'll know the reason why this market's bouncing. And I know this sounds really, really, really simple, guys, but you guys spend 454 hours going down this massive rabbit hole and the end of the story is the market goes up and, and, and what everyone was saying was wrong. Why was I expecting a strong bounce out of this? Two simple rules. Rule number one, what's the trend? And a strong trend is what? Higher lows, higher lows, and higher lows. No, duh, John, tell me something new. Well, if you know that, and you know the trend is your friend until the end, higher low, higher low, higher low, higher low. What's happening right now? Another higher low. So the trend is your... Why would you expect a big market crash? The trend is up. We're just doing what? Making another higher low. Reason why for the last two weeks I've been saying, get ready for a strong bounce. You see what I'm saying here, right? And this is where my money's where my mouth is. I'm actually part of this market right now. I'm part of the indices right now. So as this market's going up, I'm actually in these indices right now. I put my money where my mouth is, right? So the, the, the purpose of this video is I'm trying to help you and show you that what you think about these markets is wrong thinking. And I see so many people out there still thinking the wrong things. And I, I understand it, guys, right? I understand it, right? You watch these people on YouTube that are much smarter than you. They've got all the, you got, they've got more letters after the name than they have throughout their entire, throughout their entire first, middle, and last name. Right, they've got the D's and HD's and PhD's and PhD's and DIID's and, fi and, and FID's and uh, <laughs> FOD's and <laughs> if you guys get what I'm trying to say with that, yeah. <laughs> you probably say that to me right now, right? And you go down this rabbit hole because they're the smart ones. Guys, I'm not smart at all. If you know my background, right? If you know my background, what is my background? My background is what? Landscape gardening. I, I I don't understand that sort of stuff. And guess what? Most of you guys trying to understand that stuff and then make and then the worst thing to do is trying to understand that stuff so you can make a trading decision this week is the wrong combination. 
Because who said a bad CPI announcement says the market's going to do this? Who says? You're thinking. Because your thinking says, oh, a bad announcement is, is, is bad, bad or bad, good? Or is good, good or is good, bad? <laughs> you see what I'm saying here, right? So why is the market, why, why are we getting such a strong bounce right now? I want you guys to see that you are getting, most traders, and maybe a lot of you who are watching this right now, you're getting in your own way and you're thinking the wrong things. Now, it's not your fault. Right, if you've only been part of the markets probably for less than five years, you, you probably are learning these. I've had to learn. I had to learn this lesson so many times, guys. Especially my first half of my trading career. I've been trading for twenty years this year. Especially my first ten years, I went down the same rabbit hole, thinking, 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 and then the market does it completely opposite to everything. So I would spend four, five, six hours of all this research, all this understanding about the, all this sort of crap that's happening right now with the news coming out and this coming out and, and this expert on YouTube saying this and da 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 and all that sort of stuff led to me thinking the market was going to go down and the market just went straight up. So that was a complete waste of time. All you could have done is said, you know what, what's the trend? I know this sounds so simple, guys, but I'm telling you the 80-20 rule. The 80-20 rule. The reasons why I put my back on the line and came out when everyone was screaming, oh, Japan crash stock. I came out for the last two weeks saying, get ready for a bounce, get ready for a bounce, get ready for a bounce. Why? Because the market, not me, the market is saying, you know what, this is just a normal correction in a big bull market. We're probably going to go back up again. So when, it doesn't mean we're gonna keep going up every day, but the overall move is gonna start to pick up again. And you're trying to short the markets when there's a lot of fear in the markets. And if you wanna be a good trader, the reason why I'm doing this video for you right now, guys, is because if you want to be a good trader in the markets, you must learn what to focus on and what to listen to and what not to listen to. And all I was listening to was there's a strong trend. We're going through a pullback. We're still making higher lows. So this, at this point in time, is just a nice short-term correction of, of, of the course of a month before we go back up again. That was the story, the end. That was my analysis. And so I spent 20 minutes, just or 10 minutes, seeing what that was. And then I went to the gym and did some boxing sessions and had a good time. Spent some time with the kids where probably most people spend all this massive, all these hours down this rabbit hole of why the market was gonna crash and it's gonna go down. And not, not, not only was it a complete waste of time, but you can see everything that was most people saying out there was wrong. The purpose I'm saying to say, hey guys, if you actually wanna make money from trading the markets, right, trading the markets, looking for good trading opportunities, right? It's important to know what to look for. And if you, especially if you're doing the wrong thing, if you're trying to use a fundamental news and trying to trade the markets, you are, you are gonna completely lose all your money. Lose all your money and blow yourself up, right? So this one simple technique overlaid with another simple technique, which is I have a 24 moving average. And if my 24 moving average is going straight up like that, guess what that means? It means we have strong trend. That's all. There's a lot of strong momentum behind this big move here. And on top of that, we're making significant high low, significant high low, and we're still above this low through here. If we have strong higher lows, higher lows, higher lows, and the moving average going up, this drop through here is guess what? It's probably just gonna be a short term drop before away we go. Right guys, and this is what I was teaching with my, and I was saying this with all my coaching clients for the last month. Again, if you're interested in joining that group, there's a link in the description there. But I was teaching them every day in the room, guys, this is gonna be, this, we're gonna get a bounce, we're gonna get a bounce, we're gonna get a bounce, right? It's, we're gonna get a bounce. And probably so many of you right now, if I zoom right in, so many of you right now are probably absolutely gobsmacked about how this market's going up. Which, the reason why you're gobsmacked is that, is that the right word, guys? Gobs, gob, gobsmack, smack, 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 gobsmacked? Is because you're focusing on the wrong things, which don't move any needle for you. What are those wrong things? You're going down this rabbit hole of what? 
everything that's happening in the economy. The PPI, let's go. CPI, let's go. <laughs> right? You're just focusing on all the wrong things. And unfortunately, because you don't actually have the proper guidance, because you don't have the proper coaching, and again, I'm going to plug my coaching. That's why you guys need my coaching program, right? Because if you are not getting the right guidance, you are focusing on wrong things, you're doing the wrong things, and you're going to lose all your money. Simples. Where with my coaching clients, I teach them the one or two most amazing, powerful things we should be focusing on right now to remove the emotions, to get a good understanding, and see what's going to happen next. You'll be on top of this. Right, and then so so many people are like this strong rally has shocked so many has, has shocked so many people out there, and it's just like guys because you're focusing on the wrong things, you're doing the wrong things here. Now I don't expect this much. I I didn't expect it to be this strong, but it is this strong, right? The buyers are much stronger now than they have been for the last twelve months. By the way, guys, I'm just I've utilized the technique on this screen here. We've had good strong moves, but the buyers right now are stronger than ever been. What does that mean? We're probably getting ready for a lot more upside to come. But doesn't mean every single day, right? We're, we're, and we're probably going to get a little bit of a short-term move on the downside here shortly because we've just done a big move. And then we're probably going to see another another big rally to the upside, right? So we can see that with the S&P 500, even on the NASDAQ, right? Look at this here from the NASDAQ perspective. Low, higher low, even the NASDAQ, that was that last significant low. The NASDAQ went down to here. It actually bounced off the trend line and away we go. And what's the moving average doing? Look at that. So strong, higher low, higher low, still making a higher low, strong moving average. That's all the, that's all the analysis you need to know to say, okay, well, this is, this is what's happening in the big picture and, then, and here's what's probably gonna come next. The reasons why I did so many YouTube videos screaming out there to try to show you. And it's not about me being right. I'm trying to share with you now you know what to focus on, the most important things you should be focusing on moving forward. And if we do, if we do, if this is the last low through here and the market does come down through here, now we know something has changed. Just like back here in the COVID boom, right? There's a higher low, there's a higher low, there's a higher low. Look at it, it came down through there. Something has changed. Now we should be worried about a bear market, aka crash. But until that happens, Mr. Market is always right. And it says no, 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 no. So utilize this technique, guys. Utilize this here and please, Try to make sure that you are focusing on the things that actually matter to you to making good decisions in the markets, right? Remove your emotions, focus on the most important stuff. And if you have gone down that rabbit hole this time here of the market's gonna crash, which I saw so many people, right? Even on this day right here, that day right there, people were, uh, I heard some comments say, John, look, oh man, today's so ugly, the market's gonna go down. And the market goes straight up. So I hope you can see, guys, I'm trying to share with you guys from, from 20 years of experience. Now, you can hear what I'm saying here or not, right? From 20 years of experience, you guys have looked at 454 things to try to get a gauge on what's happening in these markets, and I looked at two. What's the trend? Higher lows? And what's the moving average doing? And if they're both very strong on the upside and they're still making higher lows, well, then this is just a short-term correction before we get ready for another big move. 